Yo, what's up guys? Mike here, owner of Mac Financial Group, and welcome back to the channel. I'm actually out here in West Virginia at my grandmother's house visiting some family. Uh, that's the beauty of remote work. I can bring my work out here, get everything done I need with the business, get these videos done for you guys, and I can still see some family that I haven't seen in a long time. So it's been a great time. I'll be back in New Jersey in the next couple weeks. Um, but for this video, we will be going over the sales and use tax section in QuickBooks Online. So sales and use tax is a tax that you need to charge your customers for certain services that you perform. And that varies from state to state. But the beauty of QuickBooks is it tracks all that for you. So as long as you set up your products and services the right way, which we'll go over in the video, and you should probably consult with your accountant and bookkeeper on that to make sure you're doing it right for the state guidelines. But as long as that's all set up correctly, it'll tell you how much you owe, when you owe, uh, you'll make sure you're charging the right sales tax rate for the state that you're in, and you can even pay right through QuickBooks Online. So it's a great tool, but before we get into that, if you guys could, please hit subscribe down below and hit the alerts button so that you can see every time we upload a video. Right now, that's every Sunday. And share this out to anybody else that you think will benefit from this information. And stick around to the end of the video. We're going to go over how you can get three free stocks, one of them valuing up to $1,400, and you can start your stock portfolio out risk-free today. All right, guys, I'll stop rambling. Let's get into the screen, and let's see how it works. All right, guys, so first place we're going to go is the taxes section down here on the left navigation bar and you can see I already have it set up but if you haven't set it up already you'll just click get started and it'll move you through a couple prompts to get all set up uh, first thing it'll ask is for you to confirm your company address which should be correct as long as that's correct in your account and settings section and then it's gonna ask if you sell products or services outside of the state uh, because then it'll be subject to a different sales tax rate if it's in another state and then it'll ask you to choose your agency and your filing frequency and all that, which I'll actually show you because once it's all set up in the settings, you can still add an agency. So, for example, let's just choose California. And then you choose your filing frequency, quarterly, monthly, or yearly, and then your start date. And you'll hit save and once that's the once you're done all that it'll say you're all set up and it'll bring you to this screen so now this screen as you can see it's going to show you and you can see in my test company it says i'm overdue right because i haven't i don't use this only for the tutorials but i have an upcoming for april to june it's accruing the amount so any invoice that i create it's and that any on any product or service that's taxable, it's gonna add up that amount here, and then it's gonna tell me when it's due. So for this period, for example, for the second quarter, it's actually gonna be due on July 20th. And you'll see here, this was due April 20th. It's usually the month after the quarter end on the 20th. So you can see that here. So, once that's all done and set up and you're good to go, you need to just double check your products and services to make sure that all of your products and services that you're selecting are taxable if they should be. Um, now, this is where you should work with your accountant or bookkeeper to make sure that whatever product or services that you're providing to your customers are tax exempt or not. So, for example, if I choose a, the square item here, I can edit the product and service and say that it's taxable at the standard rate for the sales tax category, hit save and close, and now you can see every product or service that's taxable in this column. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a quick invoice so you can see how it accrues the amount on that. So I'm just going to create an invoice to Johnny Barton uh, for services and you can see here actually you can tr turn on if it's this checkbox will say it's tax or not if you already had set it up this is automatically going to be checked or if it's exempt and you said it's not taxable this won't be checked so we'll say $10,000 
And as you can see, based on my location, it's automatically calculating my sales tax. And you can see the math right here. So you can see that it's using the New Jersey state sales tax at 6.625. So my sales tax amount will be $662. So I'm going to save and close that. And this is for the month of June, right? So I'm going to save and close. And if we go back into that tax section, you're going to see that now that it added that amount in here. So every invoice that you do, it'll total that up. And you're going to be able to know exactly what you owe when you owe it. Uh, really, really great. It makes it really easy. The only other thing I want to show you is if you go into your customer section here. And let's say... Um, Jim, right? We want to edit Jim and you can go to this tax info section, say they're a nonprofit or a charitable organization or something along those lines and they're tax exempt. You can check that off here and, uh, and show the reason of their tax exemption. So maybe they are a charitable organization and then you can hit save. And now even if the product or service was set up to be a taxable item, when you send these individuals an invoice, it will not calculate sales tax or accrue into what you owe. Um, so let's go back in the sales tax section in this report. So there's the tax liability report and the taxable customer report. Uh, these are just these are just going to tell you some details that you'll need when you're actually filing your report and it makes it easier for you to fill it out. I'm not going to have any details on that. Well, maybe for June, right? So let's just do April 1st to June 30th, run report. So you can see here what department it is, the gross amount. So it was a $10,000 invoice. Um, nothing was ta non taxable, so the taxable amount was ten thousand, and then the tax collected on that. So just it's so some details that you can save, and it'll help you fill out your tax return, your sales tax return all quarterly. Um, so I actually said in the intro of this video that you can pay your sales tax on here. They actually just as of April twenty first of twenty twenty you no longer can e-file your payment on QuickBooks Online. Um, I usually didn't do it anyway. I went straight to the state, state's website and uh, do that for my clients and just pay it through that. Uh, states do recommend you e-file your payments. It makes it a lot easier for both parties. Um, but again, QuickBooks does not do that anymore as of two months ago. So... Um, I would just recommend going to the state website and doing that. But say when you do pay it, you're going to have to make sure that you record your payment of how much and when and what bank account you paid it out of to make sure that it takes it out of your liability account and and shows that it came out of your bank. Because as you're calculating your tax through your invoices, it's just sitting in a liability account, and this is the only way to take it out of the liability account. So just make sure that you you do this at the end. And that's it, guys. That's the sales tax. It makes it super simple. It it and there's no more going back and calculating up all your invoices at the end of the quarter and getting these out the door. Um, it's it's all really done for you. It, Honestly, I do it for all my clients, and it, it's a quick quick tax for each one of them. And I recommend you starting to use this, this tool as well. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And as promised, here's how to get your three free stocks. So there's two links below. The first one is for Webull. Webull is a commission-free brokerage. And if you sign up, you get your first stock. And once you deposit $100, you get your second stock. And that second stock is valued up to 1400 bucks and then the second link is for robin hood and when you sign up for robin hood you get a free stock with robin hood so that's three free stocks go ahead sign up and i'll see you guys next week